everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back and doing a best of one Innistrad Midnight Hunt draft. Okay, we got Sludge Monster as the rare. This is a cool card. I got to play with it once. Haven't seen, haven't played against it yet, but it's a five mana, five, five blue creature, which is already pretty good. Comes in, turns something into a two, two, a non-horror creature. I don't know how many horrors there are. You'd expect there'd be a lot in this Innistrad because it's like horror themed or whatever, but... Uh, I haven't seen, I can't think of too many. Well, I guess here's one. Either way, make it a 2-2 whenever it comes in or attacks, which is pretty sweet. It's a strong card, actually. Chaplain of Alms is a Disturb creature. It makes This one is actually very good because the Disturb coming back as a two-power flying first strike is pretty nice. I haven't played with or against the Blood Thief yet, but I imagine this card is pretty slick as well. Definitely good for Vampire Aggro. I like the Elementalist. Uh, Amalgam's playable, Angler's playable, whoops, missed everything else, that's alright. Second pick, well, best card is probably Eaten Alive, pretty premium removal. You can pay 5 mana to exile something, or 1 and sack something to exile something, and blue-black is pretty awesome with Eaten Alive, because you get the access to all the decayed creatures. Otherwise, Blood Tithe Collector is good, I haven't played with or against Bereaved Survivor yet, I drafted it once, didn't play it. But it's an unusual card. It's cool, though. I think it just it's a little bit less good because the creature comes back from your graveyard attacking. So there's not a lot of times you're going to be able to get a mana value 2 or less creature back from your graveyard tapped and attacking and have it survive. Depends on the board state, I guess. But Flesh Taker, haven't played with it, played against it, thought it was good. Like I said, Collector's good. Griff is playable. Uh, I like Hauler. But yeah, I think it's pretty clear removal here. It just it sort of makes sense instead of taking something on color that's less good. What's this gatekeeper do? It's two mana, two one, you mill two. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, you can tap a creature you don't control and then disturbs. And it can only block creatures with flying, but it's a three one flyer. Well, it's pretty good still. Otherwise, in black, we just have blood packed. We could take the locked in the cemetery now. Uh, I mean, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything exceptional in here. You could argue maybe taking the Graph Keeper and possibly abandoning Ship on the Eaten Alive. Go for more of a Disturbed Plan because it's probably better than Locked in the Cemetery. But I think Locked in the Cemetery is a perfectly acceptably playable card. There are times where you're going to be able to play, play it as two mana and tap something and it doesn't untap, which is pretty good. Not good when your opponent's got a lot of sack elements, like if your opponent's playing Eaten Alive, but I think it's worth staying on color and getting a playable blue card. Well, Abomination is excellent. Uh, Outlaw is playable. Rotten Reunion is surprisingly playable. And then Occultist is definitely a good little sack outlet. Great with Eaten Alive, but I'd rather have the Abomination because it's also good with Eaten Alive and gives you two bodies and just a lot of upside to Falcon abomination so this is also cool because i guess it up technically can upgrade one ones into two twos not that that's going to come up too often but something to think about with the card i would say all right awakener is great so is diagraph horde though wow both of these are excellent i almost think the horde's better than the awakener um this is like mini Grave Titan at common that also just randomly gets rid of your opponent's flashback and disturb stuff it's just such a good card. I love this card. Uh, so we'll take the Horde over the Awakener. And Awakener is excellent too, but I think Horde is just going to be better in general. All right, we have some choices here because Hobbling Zombie is good. No Way Out is, I think, actually going to end up being very good in this format too. Maybe not very good because I guess there's still Disturbing Flashback, but I don't know. It feels like It still feels like more of a mid-range format. And in those cases, I do actually think No Way Out is better. Here, it's for me, it's Startle versus Revenge of the Drowned, so we have some like interaction. I actually really like how Revenge of the Drowned played for me. I like how Startle plays too, and it replaces itself. But I think I'm going to go Revenge, even though it's more expensive. It deals with stuff a little bit better, I think. So here we could take Secrets of the Key. I was actually surprised how well this played. Evolving Wilds is a free card for the deck, though, which is nice and potentially opens us up for Splash. So I think I'll take that. 
Elementalist, Immolation, Ruffian, some good remaining red cards, but I'm going to take Evolving Wilds for now. All right, another Revenge of the Drown. Seize the Storm. We do have, well, we only have two instants in Sorceries. I'm curious if this is splashable. Probably is if your deck is all, you know, instant Sorceries, but probably take another Revenge of the Drown be happy enough about it. I actually like this card. It's a lot of Ardent Elementalists flowing. Which means we may want to pivot, possibly pivot to red blue spells, give up a couple black cards. Could do that. Two black spells we have are pretty excellent, though. Consider it's not that great. I think I'll take the elementalist. We'll see if that we'll see if that's open. All right, startle now is good. I just like this card. I definitely like it more than consider, because you get a body. You get a combat trick, and you draw a card for one extra mana. Uh, Arcane Infusion. I mean, if we do end up red-blue, we're going to be pretty thrilled to have this. So I think the one mistake ended up being if I had... I think I took Revenge of the Drowned over Seize the Storm, and now I really wish I had the Seize the Storm because this would be a good pivot point. But then again, we just wield some pretty good cards here. Arrogant Outlaw is, I think it's actually okay. I, oddly enough, I think I'm taking Rotten Reunion. I know it seems weird, but I think this card is deceptively good in the format. Eating Disturb and Flashback, getting a body that you can use as a sack outlet is pretty good. I'm just going to take Return to Nature. Wow, last pick sees the storm. Okay. I think, I think we can do the spells deck if we're getting last pick. Last pick that. Augur of Autumn is great. We're not in green, though, so we could take the Pyre and just really start to commit to the red-blue, because I think at this point we've got some... We're going to be able to make red-blue work. Probably. We don't even need to splash black, even though we have the Evolving Wilds. Let's just take Cathartic Pyre, be happy about it, get some premium removal. Phantom Carriage is, of course, good, too, because it's a win con that can find, you know, seize the storm or whatever else. But we'll take Cathartic Pyre, and we're really going to just start honing in on this uh, red-blue spells deck. So hopefully we wheel the Elementalist. Organ Hoarder is a great card, too. But we'll take Pyre, uh, get more removal for now. So... Can take another Revenge of the Drown. I don't really like Otherworldly Gaze. Could take Evolving Wilds again. More fixing, deck thinning. But I'll take Revenge. It just, it buys us time. This feels like an archetype that just needs to buy some time. I guess I can take Dread Knight. I don't really, yeah, I don't want to do the Gaze. Another Elementalist. Oh, but... Uh, uh. Abomination is Abomination is just always excellent. Elementalist could possibly make more sense to get pack removal. But Abomination, I think, is actually just going to be better than Elementalist. It really is just that good all the time. The two bodies... I mean, it's better when you have, like, I guess, sack outlets, but... I'd rather just get the two bodies in one for three mana, one one being evasive. I don't think it can be overstated how good this card is. So, Sifter. Do we even have spirits? No spirits. No disturb. Could take the Vandal and try it. It's got Menace. Can ping your opponent. Amalgam's not terrible for the plan either, but maybe we try out the Vandal. All right, Fangblade Brigand, I know that card's good. Geist Wave's another option, too. How many instant sorceries we got now? We're at eight. We're already good. Let's take the Brigand. I think we'll find some more instants and sorceries along the way. So I think Locked in the Cemetery is looking like one of the worst cards in the deck because it doesn't contribute to the red-blue spells plan. You can't find it off Arcane Infusion. And... We probably are going to end up with enough removal spells. We already have two pyres. <laughs> Guess we could splash sacred fire. Could just do revelation.
Splash Sacred Fire is probably less good. I guess Revelation makes sense here. Uh, Organ Hoarder is so good. Happy to take that. Awesome spell. Taking it. Loving it. Get another one. Or we could take another Elementalist. They both are card advantage. This gets back more things, though. But this always gets something, whereas Elementalist relies on something in your graveyard to in order to do something. Plus, this also feeds the Seize the Storm, which is cool. Neither of these cards are going to get play in the deck, but we'll take this one for just to cut blue. Does Arcane Infusion feed the rest into your graveyard? No. Puts it on the bottom in a random order. I like Revenge of the Drown. If you're getting it second to last pick, then I guess people don't really respect it. But like I said, when you're a late game deck like this, I think it's actually quite good. I guess we can take Patrician Geist. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We have Flashback. Let's get rid of Locked in the Cemetery now. How much Flashback do we actually have? I guess this. That's one, two... Just three for now, but I mean, we're in the archetype that should have more. We don't have any other spirits, I don't think, but it's okay. I kind of wish it was a 2-3 flyer, but I guess that's asking too much at rare nowadays. So, Moon Moonvale Regent, it's a pretty sweet one. I mean... It's a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four flyer, and if it's the last card in your hand, you can discard your hand and still draw. We only have one multicolor card, though, so as of now, the best we could do off of it is have no card, one card left in our hand, it being an... Well, even then, you're, you're getting another card in your hand, so you'd have to... No, it's when you cast it, so it would actually work. Okay, never mind. That's cool. Either way, we're taking it. Probably get the Elementals back, because they've been wheeling anyway. Immolation, unfortunately, finally is not good because it's not what our deck wants to do. Brigand is just so good on its own, I kind of want to take it, particularly since the flip side actually works with our decay, decaying creator stuff. Can buff them and make them win cons. I think it just makes sense. It's not a, it's not a non-creature spell, but it's just good. Another Organ Hoarder. A lot of four drops. A lot of four drops, but this is kind of a four drop format from what I've found so far, so I'm okay with it. Ooh, sees a storm. Don't mind if I do. All right. No, I think at this point I admit seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten four drops is probably excessive. As much as I want this elementalist, I mean, we're just <laughs> getting a little bit excessive on the four drops at this point. So I'll probably take the Angler as something to do early. I mean, Elementalist is a great card, but we got to survive too. I think Observer makes a lot of sense in here. Tome would be fine too, but we'll take the Observer. I think it makes more sense. Another Observer. We can take... I mean, I love the Elementalist, but like I said, we already have... We have just too many four drops. Observers at least make our instants and sorceries cheaper, which I think actually does make sense for what we're trying to do. This is a spirit. We don't need any of these. All right, whatever. We'll take it anyway. Another Observer or the Revelation number two. Um, we have 11 Instant Sorceries. I'm actually going to take another Revelation. I think we might might need it with two Seas the Storm. Geist Wave, possibly making the deck. We'll see. Hmm. Well, we can afford to run less creatures because we've got the Seize the Storm, but we have, what, a, just a billion four drops. 
So I'm going to have to figure that out. I guess Revenge of the Drown would be on the chopping block. Uh, can we get away with 16 lands? It's probably a little bit greedy. But we have the Revelations to filter. We have... You don't really want to use Cathartic Pyre to filter. This fine stuff too. Hmm. 18 creatures, so 20 would seize the storms. We can definitely cut some creatures. We can lower the curve of the deck. Like, we don't need the Dread Knight, probably. How many things do we have to cast out of our graveyard at the end? One, two, I guess. Three, four. Wait, did I already count that? One, two, three, four. Not that much. Five, six. Six spells. I mean, making Caesar Storm cheaper is nice. Hmm. I think we can afford to cut quite a few things here, though, probably. Uh, do I want to keep all 13 non-creatures? It'd be nice for Seize the Storm. Like, we can cut Dread Knight. We can... It's just too many Revenge of the Drowned, I think. So we'll cut at least a couple of these. Really thinking about cutting this, but how valuable is, cause like I said, we only have six. Making this six man instead of seven. I mean, the later the game goes, the better this is, so you'd hope that you'd get seven mana anyway. I still kind of want to keep these observers. They just make flashback. They make quite a few things cheaper in our deck, so it's like having a blue ramp for us, which is nice. It is just, it's blue too, which is nice. Hmm. Let's cut the angler. I actually like the card, but I'm just kind of getting rid of fluff for now. So we're down to 11. Uh, I think I will cut the geist. I like it, but I think things need to go. Man, that's a lot of four drops. <laughs> uh, vandals can go. We don't need them. They're cute. They're cool, but they can probably go. And then one more thing to cut. I feel like it should be a creature, so maybe one elementalist, but getting back sees the storm is pretty sweet, too especially since they have Trample. I don't want to cut any more non-creatures. I know that. I want to keep that count real high. Hmm. Don't want to cut the Abominations, I don't think. They're still valuable to have. Especially, I want to keep the, the Brigands, too. Hmm. Maybe we'll 2-2 two -two split Elementalists and Hoarder. I love Hoarder, but we just way we have nine four drops is more than enough unless i want to do 16 lands i don't think that i do so cool cool deck looks fun i think we ended up removal light though didn't we yeah we did so that's ultimately i think could be costly for us we have a geist wave a startle combat trick we've got pyre couple pyres, and then a couple Revenge of the Drown. So not a ton of removal, but the deck still looks fun. So we'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. Yeah, this hand is good. We've got removal, evasion, brigand, hopefully can do something for us too. Good card. Four drop dot deck here. Um, I'd have to take hits for a couple turns. I think I'm just going to kill it. The reason I'm killing it is I don't want to block with my Abomination. I might as well start feeding my yard for Seize the Storm. So I'm okay with it. Arcane Infusion being instant speed is... Real slick, too. I like that. So we can even flip our brigand and start doing some of these shenanigans. 
Oh. Well, let us investigate, huh? Okay. Well. Well, we need the fifth land, so we might as might as well infuse now. See what we get. We'll take the pyre. We'll go land. We'll smash for two. And pass. So we're already up to two. Oh, I see. Well, could kill the unruly mob now. Because otherwise they end up with a 2-2 that's going to grow anyway. And it feeds our yard, so I'm kind of okay with it. Could have just investigated, but let's, let's investigate now. Because then I can revelation... Okay, so now we can revelation and discard this. Okay, and then we can get in for two. So seize the storm at this point. Should have a count for it, shouldn't it? No? Guess not. Well, I guess we can count then. One, two, three, four. It's already a four, four, which keeps their whole thing back, which is good. But we can also do organ hoarder to feed it more and possibly get a land and then play a observer as well. All right, let's do that. Well, I guess we did get a land, but not quite what I was looking for. Let's just take the wilds. The other two can go in the yard. We'll do evolving wilds. We'll pass. Then we're going to just block some things here. Mm, they do have coven now, I guess. Unfortunately, I don't have an untapped land. This would make this a lot easier so with seven lands, I can go startle, draw, plus seize the storm. And at that point, I think I've got something pretty beefy. And they're like mono white. I mean, I want to do startle. I guess we still do startle on their turn. Even though it's one less there, it just makes more sense. So they're going to exile their 1-1. One, one. No, I guess they're 2-2. Two, two. They're going to make their guy bigger. And then hopefully startle. No, I didn't want him to put the counter there, though. That's too bad. All right. Not the end of the world, but not great either. So we'll startle it and just take it. Draw a card, take less damage. So now I think we just start seizing the storm here. Get an 8 8 now.
All right. Well, we need them to not have the second piece of removal. I think it's GG's now, unfortunately. So if I draw, I think even if we draw another land, I don't have enough to survive. Guess we don't have enough to survive either way. All right, see you for the next one. All right, I guess we can keep it. It's a little bit slow, but... See what we can do. Hmm. Um, I may want to kill that, but. Maybe we just do the revelation better use of mana for now. Well, I guess I'm also going to be elementalist, so eh, maybe it makes more sense to just pyre the vandal and then elementalist and get pyre back. just hire this and then we'll pass Kill the naturalist. Just because it pumps wolves and werewolves, so it's pretty good. I guess we can revelation now. Dump the eye or the mountain. Okay. So then we can go observer. And I suppose we can like we could use this land for revelation, but we can use the next one for revelation too, so it's probably okay. Hmm. All right, that's cool. Let's go order first. Hmm. 
Mm. Get the abomination. And then we'll pass. And leave up infusion. I feel like red green doesn't have a ton of ways to deal with seize the storm which is nice currently it's only a four four good they wanted to flip so we'll nix that plan and yeah get another seize the storm wait why did it become night I don't quite understand why it became night. Didn't I cast a spell? Is it because I did it on their instep? Pretty confused there. Somebody, I'd love an explanation of how that happened. Maybe it's more obvious and I'm overthinking it, but definitely a little bit confused. So I can get a 5-5 five, five now, which isn't bad, but... Maybe we just flip them back. Well, if I flip them back, they can loot. Oh, but they didn't even loot there, so that probably doesn't matter. Let's just let's just keep feeding for Seize the Storm until we get some absolutely huge dudes. I mean, technically I can do Seize the Storm as a 6-6 six, six now. Um, but the longer we prolong this, the bigger they're going to be, so... Why don't we just do this and then infuse. Actual miss, huh? Okay. Well, still feeds the Seize the Storm, so I guess that's good. So I guess we already can do Abomination plus Seize the Storm because of Unblinking Observer. And with Revelation, we can even do some more filtering too, which is cool. So maybe want to just do that. Oh, it's four. Never mind. So we don't quite have the tools to do that. Four, seven, eight. So Seize the storm right now. One, two, three, four, five. It's a six, six. I mean, six, six is pretty good. And they're only going to get bigger as we go. I feel like I'm not in a huge rush, though. Because I'm not in, like, imminent danger. So maybe just... Let's just take it slow here. I mean, we're... Seize the storms are only going to be bigger the later we, we play them. So let's just be patient here. Oh, I guess I should have used Observer so I could cast Regent. That's okay. Get an Abomination down. Could have done the Revenge of the Drown, but that's okay. Their guy's going to flip back again. Sure. So if we draw a land now, we can actually do Regent plus Seize the Storm because of Observer. It's probably worth it at this point. Um, although our Brigand flips and makes all our dudes huge too. Jeez. That's pretty slick. Let's get the Brigand down. And we'll pass. And then on their turn, we're going to... They probably... They could burn it, I guess. But we're going to Revenge of the Drown the Shredder, I think. And then we can just start playing Seize the Storms. At any point. Sure. Um, I think it's still right to do the, I mean, the Village Reaver is more expensive, but 
it's got the five toughness, so actually Eviscerator is better, I think. And now we can just attack with everything, and I think they're pretty much toast. They have to, like, block everything. We didn't even have to do Seize the Storm. That's pretty nuts. Um, hmm. well, they thought that one through. Wow. Well, I wasn't expecting to win that game without uh, at least casting uh, Seize the Storm. I guess we, we haven't actually won yet. Somehow I dealt, uh, <laughs> I dealt I dealt 18 damage and didn't kill my opponent, so that's pretty crazy. Oh, I could have uh, could have dealt one more damage too. I forgot it's got it's got two pumps. I could have taken him to one life. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Four, eight mana. So, I mean, at this point, Seize the Storm is too big to lose against, right? But we probably just do. Honestly, we probably just do Regent because it flies. All right. We'll see you for the next one. Never cast Seize the Storm that game. That's ridiculous. It's a keep. Infusion, hopefully to find removal, then turn four Regent to do something spicy here. Hopefully we don't miss. We have had the Arcane Infusion miss before. They're missing their land drop? Oh boy. Um... Oh, that's too bad. Well, <laughs> I guess since we don't have any removal, I take the pyre, but obviously missing out on Seize the Storm kind of is a, a bummer, but I guess this deck has more than one way to win. But not having any removal, I feel like it's not a great idea. Well, I feel like blue-white doesn't have... Oh, we can actually... Pay the ward cost too. That's sweet. So I'll do that. And then we'll cast Regent over Brigand. And then into Sludge Monster too. Wow. Just Mythic into Rare. I like that. So zero points of damage. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do Sludge Monster now. Just Mythic into Rare, I like that. Then next turn we can go, I guess, Elementalist to get Pyre back. We can Brigand, Hoarder, a lot of good options here. Four drop formats, I'm telling you. They're goodens. They are really goodens. Um, I don't know if I want to make that a 2-2. Two, two. I think I'd rather keep it a 2-1. Wait, they lose all abilities? That no, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't have the ability until it gets to the graveyard, so that doesn't matter. Oh, let's see. I guess we can crack the clue plus do the brigand. Probably makes the most sense just because the brigand could potentially flip if they can't play a spell. I guess they can disturb, but whatever. So they're a disturb deck. That's cool. We've got seven mana. So we're going to be able to do like Hoarder plus Abomination. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, we'll see you for the next one. Oh yeah, keep here, looks good. Can do the Observer and 
I don't know, pay for half of a arcane infusion or something. We'll see. More likely we'll be attacking with it. Depends on what our opponent does. I guess I could bounce my own observer too if I really wanted. Another disturbed deck. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So we can attack and then startle. I love it when startle does something. It's my favorite. I mean, that's as good as Startle gets, frankly. Another unblinking observer deck, huh? Okay. Well, I'll trade mine for theirs if they want. Play a brigand. Mm. So we can flip our brigand and do revelation plus infusion. That's pretty good. I guess I don't want to do both, because then I'll flip my Eviscerator back, which I don't really want to do. Hmm. Generous soul, huh? Ah, so they want to flip our Eviscerator back, too. Um, okay. Let's do infusion first. Okay. Didn't miss. And then I can Revenge of the Drown, their Wrangler. So they can't even tap my Eviscerator, and it also maximizes mana. And, uh, but I probably want to do it to their Generous Soul. I wouldn't be putting it into the graveyard, though. Still, it would prevent them from getting a 4-4. Let's just do Revelation and dig a little bit more here. I feel like our late game gives us a lot of inevitability here, so I like that. They're going to tap our Brigand. Let's just do Revelation now. Oh, I can flip it back, though. Well, because I only have seven mana, so I don't have enough to do the Revelation plus the Revenge. So let's just flip our brigand. So Huh. Oh, cool. Love it when Geist Wave does something. Oh, sure.
don't need the observer. Best use of mana is infusion, so you can probably do that. Oh, miss. That's too bad. Well, to be honest, I didn't want any of those four cards, so it's probably okay. So let's do revelation now. There we go. Well, we found our Seize the Storm. I guess that's good. So we're going to be... They did not attack. Well, that doesn't make sense, but I like it. Okay, let's do this. Organ Hoarder. Fill the yard for Seize the Storm. Oh. Oh. Or just get a Moonvale Regent. That seems pretty good, too. A little 4-4 four, four Dragon. And then, in case they have more counter spells, we'll just deal with that little... That little duder. So they just wanted to tap my guy? That's all they wanted to do? Okay. Fair enough. Well, the nice thing is, Generous Soul's gonna turn back into a 0-4, so... Oh, they, in fact, they don't even wanna... They don't even wanna deal with that. I guess I could be attacking the Decayed Creatures, but we still have one more uh, Fangblade Brigand, actually. And we're also a mana away from doing these two little ditties here. Mm, Memory Deluge is a good card. Good value. What are we at count-wise? I'm surprised Seize the Storm doesn't show you the count. One, two, three, four, five. Five's decent. Uh, I'm gonna do the Regent here and then in response to them doing the second half of the right of whatever, Because um, they're going to tap our... I assume they're going to tap our regent. We'll see if they try and exile regent. I'm willing to revenge the drown it, get it back, cast it again. I don't think it's that bad. Oh, well... Kind of okay with that too, as still a way to do it. I guess I force them, if I Revenge of the Drown, I force them to use the other half, but then they can attack us for quite a bit. This is a bit of a tricky spot. Let's just dump the Wrangler. I don't want to discard my hand yet. It's actually a nice thing about Regent is uh, once we're out of cards in hand, it's just going to be free values, so that's cool. So, we can do Siege Monster, and we don't need to do that yet. So, we'll make this lose all abilities, so that's just a 2-2 two -two ground dude. So then they can exile our Sludge Monster with their Decayed, 
But then we're in Seize the Storm territory, so that's pretty cool. And I imagine our Seize the Storm is starting to get pretty huge here. Gotta take another hit. Oh, it's until it leaves? That's too bad. That's interesting. I don't know why they didn't attack with everything there. All right, well, let's cathartic pyre the abomination so they lose a flyer. We don't want to discard yet. And then we can seize the storm and then we can discard our hand. All right, so now we're just like cantripping and we have the brigand so we can keep the decayed creatures around. We need to look at the top seven. It's pretty good. Get the best two spells. Regent's still doing work for us, though, so that's good. Oh, maybe not. Um, should we play another one? Um, how many cards we got left? 10, then we got 13, so we got less cards. Devious cover up actually doing work for them here. Wow, they're gonna outlast us with the uh, devious cover up. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we still have one more Seize the Storm though, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, well that's cool. Devious cover up, doing work. So probably should have looked at what they, uh... Nice one. Well, I wasn't expecting to lose to being milled out, but there you have it. I wonder if they're going to mill themselves. No, they're milling us. Well, I found Seize the Storm. That's cool. So we have seven cards left. Hmm. If I do Revelation, am I going to be able to survive? It gives me five turns left. I feel like we still want to. All right. Because that way I can at least go with 10 mana. I can go Land Elementalist. We can get back, seize, cast it, and still be able to cast it again. I have a 9-9, nine, nine, so that's cool. Man, nice draw. <laughs> nice draw. Let's see, we've got three draws left, so we gotta just go ham here, huh?
Yeah, I'm blocking. Three lethal creatures. Is it enough, or will they draw the board wipe? All right. Jeez. Doesn't get much closer than that. I thought for sure they were going to mill us out. Whew. Man, that timely uh, Revenge of the Drown almost cost us that whole game. All right, we'll see you for the next one. This is a keep. Because Startle's good. Guess we have to actually have a target for startle to be good but that's okay hmm well, it's, it qualifies all right well we gotta find something anyway so we'll startle that and we gotta dig start feeding that yard for the seize the storm so that's fine Uh, I'm do it. I can prevent more damage next turn, but there you have it. Now we found something. Good. Revenge to buy us the time we need. Hmm. I guess we take two. this because they're going to get another dude out of it but I think it's what we got to do oh, that's cool all right Good draw there. What are we up to count wise? We got one, two, three, just three. So we can get up to four. Flip our brigand at some point, make our zombies bigger threats. I do like that we kind of have the dual win con of bunch of decayed creatures with a fang blade brigand or seize the storm that's huge that is nice uh kind of dual purpose dual purpose value and they got a grip full of spells over there too hmm well good news we've got an answer for that
All right, that's cool. Let's attack with Brigand. Make the ticket anyway. Then we'll pass. We're going to Revenge of the Drowned uh, Observer. Trying to get enough where our eviscerator can get there. I mean, we represent a lot of damage here. So. If I just take four, what does that what does that allow me to smash back at? Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, six, thirty. I think I'll take it. Oh, that's cool. All right. axes that was a close one all right we'll see you for the next one we can keep this we actually don't have any red mana but this hand is still definitely worthy of keep i mean any mana and we can at least play the abomination we can draw off startle got observer to help cast other blue things Hmm, that's a good one. Let's see. Well, um, I don't want to miss my land drop here either. So, I wonder if I have to cast Startle. Then it can't prevent damage. Oh. All right. I think we're going to miss land drop here to prevent damage. Ooh, look at the synergy there. All right, well, I mean, we have a lot of ways to answer the unruly mob, so it's not the end of the world, but that's some pretty sweet turn three synergy.
Hmm. Well, now we can at least Revenge of the Drown, the uh, unruly mob. But we'll probably do Abomination for now. Get our own little threat on board here. I guess I can attack. Got the red mana, that's good. So now we can at least. I think we can pyre the mob. And. Attack for. Four. Scoundrel. So, we can bounce that too. We can bounce our own abomination. Kind of okay with just bouncing this. Oh, that's a good draw. Mm, probably should have done that after attacks. Not a big deal, though. They can trade Jadar for. Blinking Observer. Doesn't look like they want to anyway, so that's cool. Um, I guess we'll take it. It seems like they have the thing that uh, allows them to kill a damaged thing, the cut purse. They have the right mana for it, so... Okay. I, th I still think they had it, but that's okay. game. I don't think that's going to do it. All right. See you for the next one. Hmm, I think this is still a keep. We don't have blue mana, but if we draw any mana, at least Revelation can turn this hand. Oh, perfect. I was going to say you can turn this hand into, uh, you know, digging for blue mana, but 
We got our blue mana anyway, so it worked out. Mmm, Angler. Angler's a good one. Because I don't really want to block it. So we can do turn three, Revenge of the Drown. That's not bad. Mm. Um, we'll just pass here. Festival Crasher overall stands to deal more damage, probably. And they didn't want it anywhere. Okay. So we could do our or own Organ Hoarder, but maybe just do the Brigand here. Looks like they're a pretty similar deck to us. Besides being the same colors, they're probably going for a Seize the Storm plan as well, I imagine. Yeah. So they do have a 6-6. Six, six. Um... We can flip our Brigand and then block the 6-6 six, six and still have First Strike. So we'll probably do that, because our Seize the Storm is much more petty than theirs at the moment. All right, they got us. So, unfortunately, just a mana shy here. So, that means we gotta do, yeah, we're just a mana shy, unfortunately. So we'll do, Elementalist.
So with eight mana, we can do Revelation plus Revenge, but it might just be smarter to do Organ Hoarder plus Revenge. Or Revenge plus, uh, yeah, actually that might, well, let's get rid of this. Unless they have counter spells, in which case they got us. All right, well, they didn't have counter, that's good. Let's do Organ Hoarder. I think we can afford to take one in the air. Hopefully they don't kill us with something like a Storm Rider Spirit, for example. All right, we'll see you for the next one. Okay, it's a keep. A little bit slow, but that's all right. I mean, we're a late game deck anyway, so it's okay. No, well, thankfully I don't really fear the Gavany Trapper, although it is a way to lock down our Seize the Storms. Farmhand. Mm. I may want to kill that. But it's just a 1-1 for now, so I guess I don't, I don't really want to kill it. Rather deal with a bigger threat. Force them to get Coven. I can afford to take one, I think. We'll play that. They can tap it. I'm not too worried about that. So they can pay the mana to get Coven, but... Sure. Mm. Nice turn progression. Give him that. Let's go. Well, if I pass, then they can tap my dude. So I think we actually kill. Sadly, I think we kill the trapper. And then pass. And then if they try and kill our guy, we can Geist Wave. Because they do have Coven right now. Not sure what their plan is here. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just leave the Geist Wave going then. Um, yeah, this is fine. Uh, I guess I can Revelation and get rid of. 
I would like to play a land here too. I don't want to get rid of though. Can't be Elementalist. Could be Startle. Could be Revenge of the Drowned. I think we'll get rid of Revenge because we have more. That way we can still hit our land pass. Be in pretty good shape, I guess. Sure. All right. So they're gonna flip our dude back, so. Um, might as well start all now. What am I going to kill with my... I guess I'm killing the Seasoned Cathar. Is it lifelink too? Yeah. I just want to draw off this. Yeah, okay. That's cool. So, seven mana is good now too. So we can do the Elementalist. I think we just want to get bodies off their board here. So we'll get back the Pyre and kill the 3-3. Three, three. And that actually is good because it makes our 3-4 uh, less vulnerable to tricks or fight spells, I should say. Seize the Storm currently is what? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five is not bad. Five, five is not bad. We can make it bigger. Hmm. All right. Seven. So with eight mana, can I do even more? Let's do Revelation. Mm, kind of wish it had not used the blue mana there, but I didn't draw the land anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. It's not that huge of a deal, I don't think. Still just mana shy enough, unfortunately. So I think we gotta do Seize the Storm. Pass. Gonna have to Geist Wave the Patrol. Bodies out there. So seven mana. We can do this plus the abomination. I 
So I think we just do Abomination, and then Revenge the Trapper. So I can't tap our dudes. I forgot that this grows too, that's so good. That probably was relevant throughout these matches too. For some reason I feel like, in my mind, these abilities are always static, but they're never static. They're always like changing, which is so much better. Jeez, well, they're all gas, no brakes right now, unfortunately. So I guess I can do this, plus get two bodies out. No, I can't unless I draw another land, huh? Well, if I play Seize the Storm, do I die? I guess that's another question. They tap it. They attack with a bunch of things. I think we do. I think just with the sheer quantity of bodies they have out there, we would. So we'll do this. Unfortunately, didn't get what we needed. So looks like it's GG's. Cool game, though. Wish it could have gone better for us, but we ended up getting five wins with this deck. That's actually really... Really good. This deck played really well. We did really well. I'm happy about the performance, so. Definitely don't like losing to Gavany Trapper. I'm not, not thrilled about that, but what can you do? All right, we'll be done with it. Open some packs, get our reward, be happy. This format so far has been great to me, especially comparatively to where I would be similarly in Forgotten Realms, so uh, I would give mostly, so far, all the credit to this being a four-drop format. It just opens you up to do so many more things. So many more things are available to you when the format is slower. You can actually play with unusual cards, so that's what I would say the benefit of a slower format is. First pick, I mean, Grizzly Ghoul is pretty sweet, but I feel like maybe just taking the Ruffians, well, I mean, this potentially is huge. That is big upside, and it's Trample. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's gold, though. Otherwise, I could take, like, Ruffian, which could potentially is a 4-mana 6-5. I mean, that is also very good. I'd probably go with the Monocolor Ruffian over the Ghoul. Ghoul is amazing. It's got Trample, and it's all good, but... I'd rather go monocolor with a four mana potential six five. Easy regent here, but if that wasn't in here, probably duel for dominance, just get some good removal. Here I would first pick the duel for dominance again. Good werewolves in here though, sheesh. And here, first pick the Hmm. Probably Silversmith over Witch and, well, maybe Order. These are both really good. This requires you to have other creatures. I don't know. I've had more. I think Order's better. They're both really good. If you're a beatdown deck, you prefer the Silversmith, but for the more mid-rangey format, I think I like Order more. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.